Shall yeah, we start walking to the um, station, guys? Well, everybody has a car, so you don't have to go. Um, uh, it, 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 it's been really cool. Um, it, it, was, it was necessary after London. Ah, you need a hustle and bustle a lot more. To come to a place like this and just catch your breath. Mm. It, it's been cool. We start moving towards the station. Yeah, guys, yeah, so we should start moving. Got off the station, going to transfer to Hanks. I'm not going to pronounce it. We're transferring here, taking the M50, and yeah, going to the Amsterdam. Right, um, this is uh, Monday, Monday the 21st. So I believe we're probably. So we're enjoying it to be honest. I'm, 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 I'm losing touch of, uh, of, of, I'm losing count of days now. Um, so exciting. Uh, we've all had a very relaxed weekend. So we're setting out to be Amsterdam, uh, which is probably the biggest school walking space uh, in the Netherlands. That's what we've been told. So we're going to check it out. Um, uh, probably the guys will get a chance to mingle with entrepreneurs and, and community members of the Amsterdam. Um, we've heard a lot. I think the guys are here to really take advantage of every opportunity that is coming their way. Uh, you know, organizing meetings on the side, meeting with exciting people on the side, and, and making the most of the journey. We have one more day to go. The UK is going to also be part of the chance to do whatever they like. You know,
Yeah, my, uh, my name is Marije. Okay, so welcome to the IBM Innovation Space in uh, Amsterdam. This is uh, the Amsterdam, so the most innovative city in one building. Commerce. What can what can happen in your case? So uh, commerce selling uh, through mobile is yeah, that's also on our brain. So those three, and then fourth, health and education, because that's a big challenge in Africa, where it can be what can be solved with uh, with mobile. So. Was that sufficient enough? Are you in one of those? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hey guys, I'm Luko Huh? It's a time to... So... Sorry? I said education and high school. Yeah, you have a combination of the education and local. 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 Yeah. So, I, uh, I, I hope you enjoy uh, uh, Amsterdam. I hope you enjoy uh, um, um, Europe. And, but the real value is where you come from. Because there, yeah, is a big opportunity. And they need people like you, yeah? Inventive people, creative people, and execute them. So I'm really looking forward to uh, to hear more about uh, about you and also ask uh, uh, a sort of a few links to uh, your, your websites and our LinkedIn. And because the, mo the main reason why I started Bootcamp, or why I started Salad Bootcamp, it's very simple. I want to create as many entrepreneurs as possible in the planet. So with or without some good thing, I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for being here. And uh, never, ever, ever, ever give up. Thank you. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Enough input. Yeah. 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 Let me also pitch, because then you know what the investors in the room experience when they hear so many pitches. They have to do something crazy to get their attention again. Uh, now, that you've been seeing me on Friday, I'm Berto, I'm working with PC for Africa, which stands for Venture Capital for Africa. We're an online platform and we try to connect all the different players in the African startup ecosystem at large together. And of course, that is a, a, yeah, an immensely huge task, but we start with uh, CC Hub and, and other hubs across the continent to, uh, for them to showcase their programs and, and their uh, competitions uh, to the community of entrepreneurs. We give entrepreneurs the opportunity to pitch their business to the larger community. We have around 1,000 early stage investors on the platform, uh, angel investors, but also VC funds, private equity funds, all kinds of people are interested in seeing what's coming us up across uh, the continent. I know that around half of you guys already have a, a profile for their company on, on the platform, which is great. The other ones who are not yet on the platform, it takes five minutes to create a, a profile. And on your profile, you see that there's also a fundraising section. This section is meant for people who are looking to raise funding and they can fill in basically some, some information about the, the, the amount they're looking for, the type of finance. Uh, there's a quick scan of yes, no questions that you can fill in. So investors on the platform can quickly see where you are in your development cycle and you can upload your pitch deck and other documents that you want to share. Uh, the good thing is that then the investors on our platform, they have a dashboard. They can select the countries and the, 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 the sectors and the, the, basically the type of companies they're looking for. And based on that, they get an alert every time a company that meets their criteria goes into fundraising mode. We don't do full due diligence on you, but we do check if all the things that we require are in place. Um, and we do also get feedback if things are not uh, uh, complete, basically. And then uh, when uh, we approve the fundraising round, you will be findable by the investors on the platform. And it's basically just a, a way to uh, yeah, have more eyeballs looking at your proposition. Because in every room, there will be only uh, space for 100 people. Uh, but online, as you know, there's uh, unlimited reach. So I would yeah, invite you to, to create this, this problem for your company. Keep it updated. I know that also investors are uh, not only look, uh, using it to uh, discover new companies, but uh, Elina, who was one of the judges on Friday, she said, every time I get a pitch from someone, I look at their own PC Africa and I check how they present themselves. So also that, just, just do they have a nice pitch video? Uh, what does their pitch deck look like? How well do they describe their, their pitch in, in three sentences? Those kind of things. So it's, it's just good to be there and to be part of the larger ecosystem and also to see what other programs are maybe interesting for you. As VC Fair, we promote programs for our partners, but we're also involved in programs ourselves. And so Exile Africa is a program that is uh, currently uh, running. It's funded by the World Bank. We're involved in 
at selecting and supporting 20 companies from across the continent who are roughly in the same stage as you. Some, some of the, the people here have, have, have applied for it, uh, who are looking to raise uh, a million or a million and a half. Uh, because we believe that there's a lack of support at that stage. There's a lot of support on the uh, incubator and, and maybe accelerator uh, side, but what happens when a company comes out of an accelerator? Often they, they do need also support to close that first big uh, Series A round. And that is what that program is focused on. So when you become part of the community, you will also get updates about new programs that you're part of. You'll, you'll basically see what's happening around you in your market. If you're, if you're looking in, 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 in Nigeria and in education, for instance, you see all the other companies. Probably you know them. Uh, maybe there are some you don't know yet. Uh, so, so that's what we're about. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you, see you on the platform soon. And uh, you can also contact me directly. It's Bertel at pcfray.com if you want some feedback on your profile and your pitch deck. That's kind of so uh, I just wanted to grab this opportunity. And uh, I think it's really cool that you guys are here. And I wish you uh, a great yeah, ne uh, uh, next uh, stops in, uh, in Berlin and uh, the other cities. Thank you, Bertel. Yeah. Hi, guys. This is uh, David again. Um, where today, this is officially the second day of the Pitch Drive tour in Amsterdam. There's a weekend in between, uh, but whatever happened in Amsterdam stays in Amsterdam, so we can't speak about that, but it was a good time. Um, we are right now at the B Amsterdam building, which is uh, one of the most innovative spaces here we have, uh, we have here in Amsterdam. Um, meetings with, uh, with IBM, with uh, Startup Bootcamp, um, some of Amsterdam's most exciting uh, startups. Um, this is sort of halfway through the visit to Amsterdam for the Pitch Drive delegation. Um, I hope it's of interest. Uh, it's definitely appreciated that, uh, everyone's, that everyone's here. Um, uh, thanks again, and, uh, and we hope for, uh, for a great sort of uh, onward journey. Thanks. Right, um, so it's uh, Beirut, end of Beirut, um, at uh, B Amsterdam. Um, again, probably the biggest uh, co-working space in the whole of Europe. Um, we've had a good day here. I think we spent pretty much the whole day. We did a tour. Uh, most of the guys uh, set up different meetings from, from this location and then went out to town. Uh, quite a number of them walked out of here. I think this, this space sort of represents the, the strength of, 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 say, the biggest entrepreneur's network and, and also the, the strength of CCF itself. You know, the ability to create and, and animate a community of, of people who believe that they can actually use technology to disrupt society in, in positive ways. Um, so so I'm, I'm, I'm really glad to be here. Uh, uh, it's, it, I think it's probably one of the highlights of the trip for me. For me. And I think there's also a good opportunity to probably give a shout out to, to David entrepreneurs for, for supporting this. And it's not only about the funding, to be honest. I think it's about the, the, the strength of that network, those organizations that are part of the network that you find in each of the cities that, that we did and that we're going to be going to. Uh, the fact that you could go into any of these cities, uh, walk into any of these co-working spaces, uh, or, or spaces for entrepreneurs, these different communities, and actually get support. Uh, you know, meeting, meeting the, you know, other entrepreneurs, meeting investors, or even meeting people that might randomly, you know, just be interested in what you're doing that are not entrepreneurs or, or investors. So I think it's been a fantastic day, and um, uh, we look forward to the rest of the talk. Uh, tomorrow is another day.